The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is G.I. Joe Classified Series Scarlet. She is number 5 in this series, as you can see here. And here she is in her box. A pretty decent box art here. Not, not a fan of the style, to be honest. The side of the box with her in action. You can see over here, I guess some history. The other side with her icons. Again, don't really know what these mean. I'm assuming this means she's a martial artist. And the back of the box. Hey, right, let's get her out of the package. Here is Scarlet out of the package and she comes with several accessories. First we have this small dagger here. And more knives. Two identical ones here. And her crossbow. Now one thing about her crossbow though, it do mine doesn't stick in that well. Like it constantly uh, gets knocked off. Um, so I may end up just super gluing this together um, But yeah Looks pretty cool though And Scarlet herself now out of all the figures in the line I would say she has the biggest amount of deviations from the original uh, 1980s design um, now it, you can tell she takes cues from that um, design, but um, very different from the rest in terms of giving her a more modern look um, but keeping the original design opposed to just um, taking inspiration from the original design and giving her a new look and that's where I think they went with Scarlet for better or for worse now for, for me I personally prefer the original look so I'll probably be getting a second one of her to customize and paint up to match the original Scarlet design because I think while she has all these accessories on her uh, just painting her differently would probably make her look more like her original 1980s design. Okay, with that being said let's take a closer look at Scarlet because she does have a, light, uh, a lot of nice details on her which is pretty cool starting from the head. Now the head sculpt of course is really nice but for me personally this Scarlet looks too young. Um, I imagine her to be older. Um, I I don't know if it's the, the freckles on the face or I, I'm not sure. I, I also would prefer the hair to be a bit more red than orange but um, yeah she just looks a little too young um, to be scarlet in my opinion. Now of course I don't know if this ser new series is a reimagining of the original, so maybe she could be a young person. Who knows? Okay, now I'll take a look at the detail. Nice paint apps, very clean. Again, like Duke, she has this, what I'm thinking is a communicator. Yeah, Duke over there. And on the arm, you have this glow of blue. Breaks up the details with this um, bronze bottom I'm not sure why they went with this red I, you know probably would have been better if they just left it the same color but yeah, it is what it is and then the knees and the shin guards nicely painted looks like she has some rocket boosters of some sort I don't know why there would be some that vent over there and peg holes on the bottom on the back Pretty nice and clean paint apps on her as well. Now let's get on to the articulation of the figure. The head can rotate 360. She can bend at the neck down like this and up, but the ponytail does get in the way. But uh, she does have that type of articulation there if I can get it. Um, the arm can rotate 360, lift up here, this high, I think so, yeah about that high. It does have a little uh, butterfly joint here, you can see. No bicep rotation, so like uh, Duke here has bicep rotation, she doesn't have it, but she can rotate here. 
at the elbow. Only one point of articulation at the elbow. Um, again, Duke and the other figures had two. The wrist can rotate 360. And she does have a little play on it for to tilt it like so. She does have an ab crunch. Not as prominent as the other figures, but it's there. She can rotate the waist 360. And it's at the upper part, not on the bottom that it rotates. But she can go side to side. She can do the splits, kick this much, rotate at the thigh, rotate at the thigh, the leg can drop a bit for added poseability. Can bend at the knee with two points of articulation. Rotate at the shin. The toe can go back this far, this much up, and also rotate 360. And that is pretty much it for articulation. Let's get her accessories on. So this small dagger goes in here. And these knives go on her backpack. Like so. And her crossbow can go in her hand. Here she is next to Classified Series Duke and Classified Series Roblox. Here she is next to the Black Ranger. So my final thoughts on Classified Series Scarlet. Overall, I'm pretty pleased. Just a few minor gripes. One being that this part of the crossbow pops off easily and the hair and face, you know, I would have preferred the hair to be a bit more red and the face to be a bit uh, older looking and let me get here's um, Emma Frost here um, and you can see um, Scarlet here is you know looks a lot younger than Emma Frost I wouldn't mind her to look in between these two ages but I think this is way too young of a look for Scarlet but then again I don't know what this new story is all about so maybe it does make sense but, um, you know, I get this is not my generation's G.I. Joe. This is G.I. Joe for another generation, inspired by the G.I. Joe of my generation. So can't really fault it for that. In fact, what we'll probably end up doing is getting a second copy and repainting her to look more like her classic look from the 80s. Um, well, anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.